what does a prestige cabin on deck six on the below a french explorer yacht really look like well let's go find out here's the ship currently docked in cleveland the ship has seven decks it's currently carrying 144 top passengers and about 112 crew members so the lifeboat is on deck six and here is where a little in front of the lifeboat where cabin 609 a prestige 205 square foot cabin is located now let's climb up the gangway and go take a closer look we now arrive at cabin 609 205 square feet to open the cabin one swipes a key and this is what cabin 609 looks like from the entrance way turning around and facing the door this is your do not disturb cleanup room buttons here and below are the lights let's turn them on the ship provides two umbrellas and a hook to hang some of your items most of the plugs in this cabin are 220 so bring plenty of adapters with you there are only two 110 outlets in the room the first door one comes to is the toilet there is an approximate six inch step up and down to get into it turning on the lights in the bathroom this Ponet class Explorer class ships has a very unique feature the toilet is separate from the rest of the bathroom with its own door there's a full-length mirror and then we come to the second door which is the sink and the shower again turning on the lights one comes to the sink area with another mirror looks on the door of the cabin and that's where the larger towels are rather unique feature there's a window at least you can see the bedroom one can close this like that and it shuts the uh, bathroom from the main bedroom there are some places to store items everything here is in bottles there's the soap and the lotion and here's the shower with excellent water flow and the water in the shower can be very very hot the floors are non-slip so across from the bathroom door are the is the closet area let's look at those next that's the life jackets a lot of hangers a lot of room a hair dryer there is laundry availability everything costs from one to two dollars to wash and next to the big closet are two other cabinets let's open them and see what's inside again more storage space and a nescafe coffee maker if you want to make coffee the big coffee cups are out here along with the water the desalinized water that the ship ship produces and below this closet is the safe in the second closet and a refrigerator this can be stocked any way you wish all the drinks are free aboard the ship now turning to the bedroom and the king size very comfortable king size bed there are no outlets on the left side of the bed there's a much nicer selection of outlets but still only 110 and 1 220 outlet on this side there's a TV set with lots of channels, but only two of them work, CNN and Smithsonian. Some nice extra drawers. There's really a lot of space to store your clothing on a cruise. You probably can't fill them up. And there is the water holder that you're given, and there are plenty of filling stations in the various lounges on board the ship. The next feature is the chair where I've chosen to locate the uh, computer speaking of the wi-fi it's extremely difficult to get onto the wi-fi you'll probably have to go to the purser's desk to get help but once you figure out this very archaic complex system the internet is pretty good and pretty reliable and pretty fast the last feature of the room is the veranda so let's take a look at that 
I find the door pretty easy to open and close. Other people on the ship have explained that it's extremely hard to open and close the veranda door. This is a fairly large veranda. What is it, about four feet by 10? So what can I say about this cozy 205 square foot cabin? Finicky features that are not quite what one would desire. The most pesky are the electronics, the TV and the wireless connections. But all in all, the Prestige Deck 6 cabins are certainly suitable for a week-long cruise.